I'm going to palpate the sartorius muscle, which is actually the longest muscle in the body, and it does a bunch of things. So the superior attachment of the sartorius is going to be the ASIS, and it shares an attachment with the TFL muscle, so, but it's more slightly more medial. So the ASIS is the top, and it's about two fingers wide or so, and it's going to travel distally and medially across the thigh. It's very superficial as well, and it's going to come down here and attach distally to the uh, medial tibia at the pes anserine tendon. So the sartorius does a few different things. And now they used to call it the Taylor's muscle because it helps you sit crisscross applesauce and that's how Taylor sat when they did their work, I guess. So the way to palpate this muscle is, uh, there's, a, there's a couple of, of ways to do it. I'm gonna just do all of the actions in one. So I'm gonna get my partner to sort of flex the knee, flex the hip and laterally rotate, which is all of the things it does. So I'm going to palpate up here at the ASIS and I'm going to come slightly distal and slightly medial to that to that location and I'm going to get my partner to flex into flex his hip into my knee. Now I feel that pop up super quickly right there. Just relax for me. So as I feel that, press again, flex up into my leg or my hand, I can feel that that tendon right there is really prominent and I can follow it medially down. And because his leg is already rotated laterally and flexed at the knee, it really makes it easy to find this muscle. Um, now this is gonna be more medial to the vastus medialis. It comes onto where the ad, uh, adductor group is. And I'm gonna feel it all the way down here. Go flex this way. Okay. And do it again for me, push into, perfect. And I can feel it coming all the way down here and it sort of blends into the fascia here and gets lost down at the end. 